Betting $5 to win 3k feels like something we should try and do, so that's exactly what we're going to try and do tonight. Only way I know to do that is by betting Dinger Parlays, so let's go. If you have a DraftKings account, check it right now because they gave me a 50% profit boost. I heard everybody's getting them, so you should definitely have one too. 50% profit boosts are exactly what I like to see when throwing out Dinger Parlays, so this just fits perfectly. I have to be honest with you guys, Dinger Parlays are hard as shit as it is, and now we have to deal with football season. All I can think about right now is football, and season win totals, and player props, and the fact that in two short weeks, we're going to be watching real live college football games that actually mean something. Yet, we still have some unfinished business in the MLB streets. We have to hit a dinger parlay before football season starts. We just do. And you have my word, no matter how much football consumes my every thought all the time, always, I'm not going to stop trying to hit a dinger parlay. First guy tonight, Chaz McCormick, Houston Astros, plus 550. This guy was front and center on the positive EV page at Odds Jam, so you know he's legit. If you don't have that tool, what are you even doing with your life? It's free for a month. All you have to do is use promo code SLOP at checkout, and bam, it's yours for free for a month. Also, the Odds Jam app is just sitting in the App Store right now. That's free to download too. It's just waiting for you to go get it. You're going to save so much time with that app, it's not even funny. So go to the App Store, Play Store, whatever type of phone you use, get it now. Hurry up. Anyways, Chaz McCormick is a white whale for us. I think we all know that. But I also think tonight is the night we finally hit on him. For starters, he's got Braxton Garrett tonight. And while Garrett doesn't really give up dingers, he's still giving up 15 on the season. And 12 of those have been to righties. He can be had. We've all seen it happen. Now, McCormick's never really seen this guy. But he has a 431 Woba against lefties this season. The pitch he likes best from lefties is a sinker, and that's what Garrett tries to throw righties. McCormick also crushes sliders from lefties. And Gary likes to throw those as well. This bet probably is the most perfect bet I've ever seen in my life. Next up, Pete Alonso, New York Mets, plus 360. Honestly, this one's about the sinker as well. Pete Alonso smashes that pitch from right-handers. And tonight, he'll see Quinn Priester, who relies on the sinker like a meth head relies on meth. On the season, Priester's only pitched 23 innings, and he somehow managed to give up five dingers already. By some miracle, he didn't give up a home run in his last start against the Atlanta Braves, but he only went four innings in that game too. Still, they hit him all over the place. Righty's had three extra base hits off him. Again, he only pitched four innings. I'd be shocked if Alonzo can't put one in the seats against this guy. Moving right along, let's go Christian Walker, Arizona Diamondbacks, plus 300. I don't know in what world Christian Walker is only plus 300, but when you consider the fact that he's facing Chris Flexen, it all makes sense. I'm not sure if you've seen Flexen pitch recently, but he makes the ball look like it's on a tee. On the season, he's only pitched 55 innings, yet he's somehow given up 17 dingers. That's a ridiculous number. We're talking about like a record here. In fact, he's only pitched three times for the Colorado Rockies, and he's given up two dingers in all three of those starts. Guy hasn't even made it into the sixth inning in any of those starts. It is so bad. Now Walker's never seen this guy before, but in my opinion, he's the one that's most likely to go yard out of the whole Diamondbacks lineup. He hits four-seam fastballs and cutters very well, and that's what Flexion likes to throw. Put it this way, I'd bring a glove if you're planning on sitting in the outfield seats in Colorado tonight. Finally, Shohei Otani, Los Angeles Angels, plus 235. The haters are going to say you can't take Shohei because pitchers are scared to pitch to him, but whatever. When's the last time a hater was right about anything? Even if it was true, it's not going to be true tonight. Otani's going to see Max Scherzer, and Max Scherzer is a dinger guy now. We're talking 24 dingers and just 120 innings of work this season. He didn't give one up in his first start with the Rangers, but he did give one up last time out, and I think he's going to give up multiple home runs tonight. For starters, we can be sure that he isn't afraid of anybody because he's Max Scherzer, so we should get some good Otani at-bats. Otani hits literally every single pitch you can possibly throw. This almost feels too easy. I'll see you guys tomorrow.